inside our teepee now. We got our fire going here. We got taters on the fire there. Yeah. It's kind of dark, so I'm just gonna kind of point my headlamp at people, and I hope they don't mind. Nope. <laughs> There's Jason, suiting up a little bit. Now that we're not moving, it's getting a little colder. But we got the fire going, and we don't have like a huge coal base yet. I think in a little while I'm gonna throw a bunch of wood on here because. I want it warmer than it is right now in here. Tom, pass some of the chips over here, dude. All right. I'm gonna rip the bag like, all the way over the down, so I don't dump it. It's all right, that way you can get into it faster. Yeah. Good call. Oh, mm. oh ma'am. <laughs> like a little slice of heaven. Mm -hmm. You know. Brandon. Yeah? I bought those chips in Hawaii like a week and a half ago. Oh, yeah. oh man. Jeez, that's gotta be irony right there. That does that's like the epitome Those chips iron. are like, it's freaking freezing up here. So, um, how does it feel being out in single digit weather like the weekend after you get home from Hawaii? Well, you know, I feel like a, a scientist or something, you know? Going around the globe, studying the world, studying different species. You know, different lakes and I don't know. It's, it feels pretty good. I do have to say. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'll take one more little handful of chips here and pass them back. Here's trail mix if anybody wants some. And up foil for potatoes. What is that? Foil for potatoes. Okay. And the infamous. Venison jerky. Oh, venison jerky. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I can just blast oh, it right yeah. in the eyes. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel, I feel some more heat coming from you. All right. I'll just keep it pointed at you there. So if anybody wants some of this, we can. Best wishes on the pieces that you choose. We are uh, we're thawing out the hot dog buns here. They were frozen on the table outside. Tom's over there trying to warm up some water because he wants some cocoa or something, but, yeah, but his stove is barely even cooking. You want me to pull up my, my liquid fuel? I got a liquid fuel too. I brought I my... Like, uh, I got my tank. Dude, that is like a spotlight. I know. I can't even see you. I know, right? <laughs> well, it definitely warmed up. Made it a little bit easier. Yeah. Well, then, it, even if it tastes raw, you know it's not. Just like an Oreo? Uh, not at the moment, <laughs> but maybe when I thaw <laughs> out my milk. Awesome, you brought that too. Double stuff, Haven. Nice. You know, these also came from Hawaii. Really? Just to let you know. But they were probably shipped there first. Well, yeah, from like Delaware or something? Yeah, I don't know. Let me take a look. Uh, Northfield, Illinois. Illinois. I was close. Yeah. So they kind of came close back to home, really. Hey, I think we should, might want to throw some more wood on this fire. And we got some butter as well. Oh, butter. Just, can I have that right now? You, you shove it in it? my mouth? If you will eat the whole thing at one time, I'll shove the whole thing in your mouth. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I want it for my taters. But it's kind of nice, you know? You don't even need a refrigerator out here. Yeah. You know? It's like the best of all worlds. You got heat. Uh, natural refrigerator. Taters. Taters. Mm. And we brought tube steaks. Taters and tube steaks. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Make sure those aren't getting frozen. Nope, those are still good. Okay, I think the... Oh, I can probably rotate. Oh, that's getting almost toasty. Toasted ones. Ah! Is this the second time we've heard this song? Oh, is it? Yeah. I think it, it might be on repeat or something. It is, I have to change it. Why, because you heard the part that sounds like people honking? <laughs> <laughs> Tom's over there, like, oh. passing out. He's got his little recliner chair thing he makes out of a bed, so he's just, like, all leaning up against the wall. Crashing. One of our candle lanterns went out. I'll have to see if I can get that other candle in there. 
Have a drink to that, mate. <laughs> That's a nice fire. It's like partially frozen too. Oh, Tasty. frosty. It's frosty. Frosty Coke? Yeah, it's like partially frozen, you know, where it's like slushy almost. One year or one day, a long time ago, there was this complete jacknut that was like, hey, I think I'm going to go camping in the wintertime. And he brought a bunch of Coke with him. Uh -huh. And um, he also happened to own a 7-Eleven. And so when he was out here and he drank the Coke and it was all slushy-like, he was like, holy crap, this is an awesome idea. I'm going to make a fortune off of this. Mm. And so that's why 7-Eleven has frozen Cokes. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Is that, is that the real story? Yeah, that's a little piece of 7-Eleven history right there. Yeah. It's like, it's American history, really. Because yeah. that's pretty much what 7-Eleven is. It's like American culture. It's true. Jason's over there eating his hot dog already. I'm looking for another piece of American history right now. Another piece of American history? It's probably more like Latin history. But I'm looking for some rum. Oh, rum, huh? Mm -hmm. Be careful, that'll bring your body temperature down quicker. What? Yeah. Then you won't know you're going hypothermic. <laughs> okay. If that's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Nice. Put a little rum in that Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. mm. Is that rum kind of thick? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tube steak right there. Looks so delicious. It's been slow roasting. I remember this fire forever. <laughs> Here's your ballpark, Frank. Uh, everybody's in their sleeping bags. Tom's probably hating me right now for shining a light in his face. There's Jason over there. Getting ready to go to sleep. Just trying to get... Trying not to catch on fire. Trying not to catch on fire. Fire's pretty big right now. But it's getting light. It was like 12.30 a while ago, so sun comes up early, or at least kinda early in the winter time. So it's time to go to bed. And Tom really looks like he wants to be in bed. He doesn't want to talk to the camera anymore, I don't think. We're signing off for night one of winter camping. I didn't tell everybody, but we're going to be here for a week. <laughs> Alright. Well, good night. <laughs>